Hi everybody and welcome to another video on the Toon Review YouTube channel. Uh, just some latest news for you, some massive news coming out of Saudi Arabia about a, a new airline which PIF are investing in, which could have fantastic ramifications for Newcastle United uh, moving forward. Uh, but as usual guys, if you do enjoy today's video, if you could just hit that like button for us, it does help us move up the search results on YouTube, etc. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button, it is free to do so, and that bell as well, which will notify you when we do upload or we go live in the future. We go live practically every day, bring you videos all the time, so your Newcastle United and Football Fix is right here on the Toon Review. Uh, now, uh, as I say, we'll come on to the news uh, regarding PIF shortly, but some very sad news to start off with uh, is uh, regarding our former uh, player, John Tudor. Uh, now, John Tudor, of course, was a star in the 70s for Newcastle United, uh, a fantastic player, uh, but unfortunately he is now suffering from sports-related dementia, uh, believed to be caused by, you know, heading uh, the football so much. And of course, uh, Alan Shearer, I think, did a, a documentary on this uh, a while back, you know, with the, the older generation players about heading them footballs back in the 70s, where they were made very, very differently. They were a lot heavier back then. And um, certainly the... Uh, Sports-related dementia is something that has, has really come to fruition uh, within the last few years, and it's it's sadly uh, affected uh, our former player John Tudor. Now, um, he needs our help, uh, and he needs a lot of help. Um, Jonathan Tudor um, basically has set up a GoFundMe page uh, for his dad, uh, and this is what he had to say. Uh, my dad played football for several years for Newcastle, Coventry, Sheffield and Stoke. Uh, due to him heading the ball, uh, he has developed sports-related dementia, which we have been battling for over 15 years. Uh, he is now at a point where he needs full-time care. Uh, my mum is a trooper and is trying to survive and care for him, but as of now, he needs so much direction and help that cannot leave his side. Uh, Full-time care is the next step, uh, but as the old pros didn't get what is paid to today's players, uh, and with the cost of care increasing, we will struggle to get him the care needed. Uh, each, month, each month that passes, he struggles more and more, and I would love to reach out to every player, former club and fan for help. Uh, my dad was a model professional and worked hard for every club and team he played for. And watching him at this stage of his life is very challenging. Uh, any help is appreciated. Uh, it's so sad. It is so sad to hear about uh, certainly John Tudor. You know, he was he was a star for us in the 70s. Uh, unfortunately, I was, you know, I wasn't even there to, to see him play. But uh, the way my granddad used to talk about him, my dad talks about him and, and various fans who saw him play. Uh, know what a star this guy was and it's just so sad what's happened to him now as i say there is a gofundme page set up for uh to help uh with with care costs for john tudor uh so if there's anybody out there that would like to help with this uh i will put the uh, link to the gofundme page right at the top of the description uh so you can't miss it just underneath the video right at the beginning of the description the link will be there for the Go gofundme page so Look, it's it's a cry for help from uh, from John Tudor's son, Jonathan, and uh, let's see what we can do as a Newcastle United fan base, maybe to to just help and try and give this guy the help that he needs. Uh, so, best of luck to uh, John Tudor, and thank you to everybody uh, for going to the GoFundMe page if you can afford to. Uh, now, on to other news. Uh, VAR referee from Saturday, Lee Mason, who, of course, made that absolutely abysmal howler uh, to disallow Newcastle United's goal. Uh, he has been relieved of duties for this weekend's Premier League games. Uh, now, you know, is it enough punishment one week without a game? I don't know, because for me, it was a diabolical decision. And somebody with that experience uh, simply shouldn't have made that mistake. Uh, he didn't show the referee the main angle where Joe Willock was pushed. So that, that's an issue straight away. Uh, but he's received a, a, a one-week ban, so he's not involved at all uh, in refereeing this weekend. Uh, now, Ian Wright, uh, he's been talking on his podcast um, regarding James Madison, and he believes that James Madison wanted to join Newcastle United in the summer. Uh, now, he doesn't know whether he foresaw what was coming with Leicester City this season, but he was very disappointed, apparently, with the uh, with the signing of any players. Of course, Leicester, I think they only made one signing, uh, but players left the club as well. And maybe, just maybe, that James Madison um, 
you know, could tell what was going to happen. You know, there was no investment in the team and they were going to struggle this season. And it's certainly come to fruition in the very early part of the season as Leicester find themselves bottom of the table uh, with only one point. Uh, but it was very interesting. And uh, Ian Wright believed that, uh, you know, he could make a difference to Newcastle United. And I certainly think so as well. I'm a big fan of James Madison. I know he has his faults with going down very easily, etc. But look, he's a fantastic, talented footballer. Uh, now, whether Newcastle revisit this in January uh, or indeed next summer, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, we know he's on the radar for Newcastle United, uh, so future transfer windows may dictate on uh, what happens with James Madison. But at the minute, uh, it's interesting to hear James, uh, Ian Wright talk about James Madison and say that uh, he would have been interested in a move to Newcastle United. Now, the big news of the day is, uh, you know, it was, well, it came out yesterday, I think, regarding the new airline from Saudi Arabia, which... Uh, PIF are investing heavily in. It's going to be called uh, RIA, uh, airlines which will be based from, uh, of course, Saudi Arabia, uh, Riyadh. Uh, but this may have superb knock-ons in the future for Newcastle United because all through the summer we've been talking about new sponsors, etc., for the club. And with regards to PIF, you know, they're investing heavily in this airline. Uh, could it be that this airline may be Newcastle United's new sponsor next season? Because, of course, we know Fun 88 uh, deal is running to an end. You know, they've done all right, uh, but, you know, they're a betting firm and betting firms um, teams are moving away from now. Uh, so for me it's going to affect FFP as well because the revenue that you're getting into the club is going to dictate how much you've got to spend. Uh, and if we're getting sort of more and more bigger sponsors coming into the club, that is going to have a massive knock-on effect for our spending power in future years. So for me, uh, it, it looks likely, uh, you know, there was Saudi Gulf as well, which people thought that they may be in with a shout. Of course, Aramco. There's a lot of Saudi companies out there who may well be looking to sponsor Newcastle United uh, in the future. But with PIF investing in this airline, it may be, just may be, that they're going to be the sponsors moving forward. There were mentioned, actually, in the summer... Uh, there were rumoured once this airline did take off, and um, pardon the pun, but uh, you know once it got going, that they would uh, become Newcastle United's new sponsor. So that's very exciting news in the summer, again, uh, because we may well just be able to increase our spending power in future windows. Um, now, injury update. Uh, we've got, of course, Maxi and Bruno are expected to return this weekend to face West Ham. Um, I'm hoping... Bruno does more than anything because, of course, we know that his old, uh, his old mate Paqueta is at West Ham. And uh, it would be a fascinating battle in midfield to see those two going at it. There's no doubt about it in my eyes. I would love to see Bruno and Paqueta going at it. Of course, Paqueta more attacking, Bruno more defensive. They're going to clash at some point. Uh, and it would be very interesting how they go through the game, of course. Best mates off the pitch, but of course, during the 90 minutes, uh, it's anything goes, I would imagine. So uh, very, very professional players, these two. So uh, it would be a joy to watch. Uh, now, with regards to Maxi, uh, Maxi also suffered a slight uh, hamstring strain at Wolves, of course, after he scored the goal uh, to equalise in the last minute. Uh, he's expected to be fit as well. Now, whether Eddie Howe risks both of them or just one of them, I guess that's just, we'll have to wait and see. But of course, we're only a Tuesday today uh, and the game's not till Sunday. So plenty of time to get them fit. Um, now, does he start them on the bench uh, for precaution or does he maybe give one of them an hour, bring the other one on later on? Again, you, you, you never know with Eddie Howe. You can't foresee what this man's going to do. He, he, he has a, whatever he does will be for the benefit of Newcastle United. But um, for me, I can't wait to see Bruno against Paqueta will be just tremendous. It, it really will. Uh, now, the referee has been announced uh, for the game at the uh, London Stadium, and it is going to be Craig Pawson. Uh, of course, we've had run-ins with this referee before, and it's a shame, really, isn't it, that every time now uh, the referees are announced, it's sort of, oh, God, put your head down and get on with it kind of thing. And it, it, it shouldn't be like that. That's not how it should be at all. You know, we should be um, not even talking about referees, but with what's been going on at the start of this season and especially at the weekend, you know, fans are going to talk and fans aren't going to be happy with whoever the referee is. And, of course, VAR is, is Paul Tini and... and <laughs> It doesn't fill me with much much hope. But listen, they will be under tremendous scrutiny this weekend. Let's be honest here. They will be under tremendous scrutiny under the eye and make sure that the decisions they make are absolutely spot on. So for me, if VAR is going to come into the game against West Ham, you may well see them making the right decisions all the way through because they cannot afford to get another thing wrong. 
it's been dreadful, absolutely dreadful. Um, so I think this clear and obvious thing, you know, if it's not clear and obvious, move on. Simple as that. But there you go, guys. That is the latest news from Newcastle United. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of, uh, obviously, the, the massive news from Saudi with regards to the airline. Do you think that could be Newcastle United's new sponsor moving forward? Uh, are you hopeful that Bruno and Maxi will be back? And, uh, of course, um, John Tudor as well. Of course, uh, we send our love and best wishes out. And don't forget, that link is pinned at the very top of the description for the GoFundMe page for John Tudor's care uh it's a massive thing so do help if you can uh but as usual guys thank you very much for watching the video if you have enjoyed it please hit that like button as usual it does really help youtube move us up the search results and of course if you're new to the channel and you like what you see uh, become part of the tune review family by hitting that subscribe button it is free to do so and of course the notification bell which will let you know when we go live or uh, we upload a video which is practically every day of the week. So for your Newcastle United and Football Fix, this is the channel to be at. But in the meantime, guys, have a fantastic day. If you're watching this on Tuesday, don't forget tonight at 8.30 we have the fan forum uh, when we get the lads and lasses on uh, to talk everything about Newcastle United. Uh, it's sure to be a spicy one tonight given what's happened uh, at the weekend with VAR. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a lovely day. Take care.